Cryptocurrency is coming for Wall Street and rappers are leading the charge. Name checking Bitcoin and other crypto in their music. Get Bitcoins, uh. Everybody doing Bitcoin. Spend about three stacks on a Bitcoin. From Soldier Boy. I made a hundred racks off of Bitcoin. To Megan the Stallion. Rappers have been at the cutting edge of a financial revolution. How did they do it? In the music world, we're influencers. And how does it impact the future of money? Bitcoin is not sexist, it's not racist, it's also not ageist. Anybody can use it. How the internet decentralized information, Bitcoin is doing that with money. Pop culture doesn't just impact music charts and box office numbers. It has real world implications for our lives. I'm Yunj Kim, and this is The Pop Factor. Hip hop has been a source of cultural innovation since its inception in the 70s, whether because of sharp instincts or just sheer necessity. The genre's hustle is the driving force behind many of today's rap stars. It's a mentality that is often emulated by young people dreaming of making it on their own, or those like me who are disillusioned by the systemic failures that marked our childhoods. Whatever the reason, more of us are questioning the status quo and looking at different ways to get paid. Enter cryptocurrency, a new approach to finance embraced by the artists who fill our playlists. But before we go any further, let's talk about what crypto is. And to do that, we gotta get on the same page about what money itself is. At its simplest, money is really just an item of value. Take the American dollar. Before 1933, our money was backed up by gold. Back then it was worth something because somewhere in a vault was a piece of shimmering metal to back it up. But ever since we came off the gold standard, our money has essentially had no real value. The dollar is literally just a piece of paper or a digital number in a bank account. In other words, we give money its power by choosing to believe it has value. Not a Wall Street banker, not a DC official, we do. Which is why cryptocurrency has taken off lately. More people are choosing to believe in a new form of money, one that isn't controlled by the government. Bitcoin is the most popular cryptocurrency and is digital cash on a large database called the blockchain. The blockchain verifies who owns each Bitcoin by working out complex math equations across a vast network of public servers around the world. No one person, company, or government owns the servers. That's why crypto is so appealing to hip hop stars and rappers. It challenges the establishment because it's totally decentralized and subversive, just like the music itself. Drumavoy is a rapper and multi-platinum producer who's worked with Jeezy, Gucci Mane, Drake, and many others. Money to Blow was one of the songs that I did with Drake and Birdman actually sent me a payment. That was actually the first person that ever paid me in crypto. You already had this amazing music career. What was it like to cross over into the future of finance? If you're not understanding of finance, you're not gonna make money. If you're not making money, you're not gonna be powerful. So the first part of finance for me was earning my respect and putting myself in demand where I say, hey, I wanna work with him, he's worthy, that's the kid we need. And that's what made me valuable because I was in demand, understanding what to charge um, and, uh, and understanding how to really get in the game. Why do you think hip hop artists specifically see the value of crypto before anyone else? Well, I, I think for one, we have you know a little money to play with, but for two, I think in the music world, we're influencers and in what we do. People, I don't know, for some reason, trust the music world, and and you know what I mean. Like it's it's mm -hmm. it's it's a uh, it's a secure environment where people say, well, hey, if he's doing it, if it works for him, it can work for me. Rappers like Drama Boy aren't keeping this knowledge to themselves. During a million dollar Bitcoin giveaway on Cash App, Megan The Stallion told her six million Twitter followers about the upsides to investing. Megan instantly saw the value in introducing her fan base to Bitcoin. Cash App was the first public company to make Bitcoin accessible nationwide. There's no boardroom, mm -hmm. there's no VC investors. It just is, it's of the internet and for the people. So that's always been really important to, uh, to our ethos. Isaiah Jackson, a Bitcoin expert and author, agrees. Bitcoin is not sexist, it's not racist, it's also not ageist. Anybody can use it. He sees a real opportunity for Black Americans to build wealth through cryptocurrency. In the Black community, we've seen Black Wall Street burn to the ground. We've seen eminent domain being used to increase gentrification. We've seen a lot of tactics used by banks to encourage uh, financial discrimination. Uh, the thing with Bitcoin, though, is that for the first time, somebody cannot take your wealth away from you. 
Um, they burn down Black Wall Street, but you can't burn down Bitcoin. And why do you think it's hip hop and R&B stars, really black artists specifically who are at the forefront versus other artists? Um, you know what? I, I really don't know. A lot of times when the white community is looking for financial advice, they don't ask Eminem. Uh, so I really don't know why we gravitate <laughs> towards rappers. That being said, Isaiah welcomes the attention that rappers have brought to crypto. I can talk to them blue in the face. They're not going to listen to me. But if Jay-Z says right. it, it's cool now. If Meek Mill says it, it's cool now. So I appreciate them for that. Cryptocurrency doesn't come without risks, like its toll on the environment, as well as scams, failed launches, and a very volatile market. Which is why OG YouTuber Michelle Phan is dedicated to educating the masses about cryptocurrency. You made your start in a different decentralized economy, YouTube. So how did you make the leap into cryptocurrency, decentralized finance? I started on YouTube back in 2007, I think. And I was a college student just giving tips on how I did my makeup and just personal right. advice on things that have helped me, whether it's beauty, lifestyle. And now that I'm older and I have businesses to run, I've learned a lot about essentially savings and how I think that's important. That's something that I don't feel like I was taught even at, at a young age was saving and uh, creating generational wealth for yourself. As you very well know, there's not a lot of women and there's not a lot of women of color or Asian women who are actively big time investors in this space. Do you have any takeaways about that? And on top of that, you're a young woman, you know, you're not like... <laughs> I invest in my interest. Um, I'm also very curious, so I like to learn uh, uh, new industries, uh, industries that can help people, of course. Um, you know, even with early days of YouTube, I saw that as an opportunity where I can actually have my own channel and this is the beginning of democratized beauty decentralization right. content. You know, back then it was just TV and magazines. And so you had these gatekeepers. So when I saw Bitcoin, I learned more about it. I just knew that this is beyond just content. I mean, this is something that affects everyone, which is money. Was there a moment when you realized that crypto was going to be the future? Did you have that aha moment? It was probably when I just made a lot of investments and I just saw that my Bitcoin portfolio outperformed everything I invested in combined. Mm -hmm. Right. combined. Do you have upcoming crypto projects? So I invested in a few uh, projects, uh, one being Lolly. Lolly is an app in a browser extension uh, mm -hmm. where you earn Bitcoin back through shopping. It's the most seamless, frictionless way to invite any of my followers and audience to um, actively be part of Bitcoin without having to buy it on an exchange or mine it. I also want to get more into um, just Bitcoin education. So I might get more yeah. serious with just creating content around Bitcoin because I I have seen there's a lot of misinformation about, about Bitcoin and also a lot of the non-misinformation out there, how it's portrayed, it's just so complicated. If I can understand Bitcoin myself and I can share with you how to understand it, then you can essentially be your own bank and you can have true financial sovereignty, which I believe our generation deserves. We deserve this, we've worked for this. and. The world deserves this. If there's one thing we can take away from the last few years, it's that younger generations are ready to topple old institutions and create new ones. And in a capitalist society, that means reimagining an unfair financial system. So will crypto be the answer we've been looking for? We'll see. I'm Yunch Kim, and that's The Pop Factor.